guys, Jamie Ray from Jamie Ray Vintage. Today's DIY, we're gonna be taking this old table that had a broken base and turning it into a clock inspired by Joanna Gaines' clock on Fixer Upper. So what makes this perfect for an old clock is it's got some natural wear, it's got a big fun crack down the middle, and it's not perfect. We want it to look like it was aged over time, and I'm not actually even gonna be putting hands on it because hers doesn't have hands either. I'm just gonna paint it and put the numbers. You could go ahead and brush this with fairy chalk mother paint, but I've got my spray gun all loaded up with our fairy chalk mother and snowflake, so I'm just gonna spray it to get started. If you wanna buy fairy chalk mother, be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray all around the edges and once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and put one more coat of Fairy Chalk Mother on it and I'll show you what it looks like when I get that done. Okay guys, we got both coats of our snowflake on here and we're gonna give this a chippy aged look. I like to use my rotary sander, especially for projects this big. I can really distress it a lot in a little bit of time. I've got 80 grit sandpaper on here. It's all distressed, it came out super chippy. I'm not even really sure how we got the amazing chippiness. I think that the chippy gods were in our favor, but I just used the rotary sander and it chipped off amazing and looks nice and aged. The next step is gonna be to add some numbers and Zeb's gonna show you how to do some hand painting. If I hand painted it, it would look like a three-year-old did it. He's definitely the expert. I went ahead and found the center on this table. I just measured from side to side and then marked it and put a nail right there in the middle. And now, what I'm gonna do, I've got a piece of twine. I'm just gonna wrap it around here until I find where I want it. I want my circle to run a few inches from the edge. Now that I've got this twine here and this is centered, I'm just gonna take my pencil and I want a nice circle all the way around. Now that I've got my outer circle, I undid the twine here, and I want my letters, my numbers on the clock to be 12 inches. So I'm gonna tie that off at 12 inches and make another circle. Now I have my tape measure intersecting my center line and this is where I'm going to put my 12 and 6 o'clock is right here. So I'm just going to put a mark there. And a mark down here on the bottom where 6 o'clock would be. I'm going to do 3 o'clock which is pretty much right here on this crack. And I'll also do nine o'clock and mark those spots out. To get my measurement between six and nine o'clock so that I can fill in seven and eight, what I did was I measured from six to nine diagonally here across them, divided the, that number by three, and for me that worked out to be about 13 and three eighths. So I just measure straight here off of the ruler, keep my dividing line there, then I make a little tick mark right here, and then once you get your tick, you can go straight back, and that'll be, that'll be your, uh, your distance there. And then you do the same thing for seven o'clock. If you can't, it's easier for you to flip the ruler around. My number is still 13. And so I went about straight off, and right there is my seven o'clock. Now to make sure I was right, I measured diagonally from here, from nine o'clock to eight o'clock is 15 inches, from eight o'clock to seven o'clock is 15 inches, and from seven o'clock to six o'clock is also 15 inches, so the math worked. Now that I've got the outside marked off, the center will be easy. I'm just gonna line it up on the six and the 12 o'clock up there at the top. And then I'm gonna put a little mark on my center circle here and here. And that way I'll know where the center of those numbers need to be. So if I have done this right, the tape measure should 
these marks should line up and still work for this and they look like they are so I'm winning on that one today all right one last measurement I know it's kind of hard to see my little marks here but I went ahead and measured from the nine to the eight, and the eight to the seven, the seven to the six, so on. And now I'm going to go on the halfway mark on those and measure right to the center. That way I know how big my numbers can actually be because I'm doing, gonna do Roman numerals on these and they have gotta have a center. I'm gonna put a little C there so I know that that's where the center is. Now you just do that all the way around and then when you get that done you should be ready to start laying out your numbers. I have my border marked out for the numbers now right here. I just measured straight up from here to here nine inches and went across and then I've got my bottom piece here this is all going to be filled in gray right there. Now I'm going to draw the number 12 in Roman numerals. I'm using gunmetal in fairy chalk mother. Just the edge of my brush here. Go around that outside perimeter. These lines are long enough and straight enough here. I'm just gonna tape them off because that's gonna be faster. And then that way I can just brush them. Now for more layout, Roman numeral one. Got my center point marked.
Just using the magic eraser to get the uh, pencil lines off that I used to outline this and mark everything out so that it was nice and symmetrical. And then once I get this done, it'll be pretty much finished. We just need to seal it. All right, our clock's all finished. We used fairy chalk with our snowflake and gunmetal. We painted it, distressed it with our rotaries, and hand painted those Roman numerals. And that's basically it. It took a little bit longer than we thought to get it all laid out, but it was definitely worth the effort. I'm really excited and inspired by how this turned out. Hopefully I can find a place to put it. If I can't, it'll be on my Instagram at Jamie Ray Vintage or on Facebook, Jamie Ray Vintage. As always, go to JamieRayVintage.com for fairy chalk butter. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more DIY.